Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, Why Not Budget, it's Lalina, and today we will be going over uh, our budget for last week and creating the new budget for this week. Um, so I have actually already filled everything out, but I wanted to add a little bit of suspense, so I've covered up the numbers. Yeah, now I have your attention, yeah. So what are we going to do? We're just going to go line by line. I'm going to let you know what we budgeted for, how much we actually spent, um, and then whether we're positive or negative with our budget for the week. So we're gonna go ahead and jump to it. Um, and this was for last week. So for savings, I'll let you guys know that with the savings, uh oh, moving too far with the savings, it is automatically deducted um, and it goes over to the savings account. So $50 was sent over to my savings account last week with our first well, credit card number two. I wanted, we made a big payment on it for $350.90 and so I actually you know put that payment through mm, excuse me for a car insurance it was eighty dollars and fourteen cents <coughs> excuse me it's only for my husband's car which I need to add my car to it this month or I'm gonna be messed up um so eighty fourteen and we pay eighty fourteen for credit card number three we, it was $50 and I made a payment for $50. For the internet, it was, well, we budgeted 70 uh, and they drafted out $68. So that saved us a little bit there. For the rental car, as we mentioned in a previous video, we budgeted this amount, uh, it was 115. It was actually like 114 and some change, but I rounded it up here to 115. But the amount that we actually paid for the rental car was $244.32. Uh, it did initially include a $44 deposit, which we have received back. So at the time that we purchased the rental car or we uh, received the rental car, we paid $288.32. But the actual cost was $244.32. For groceries, we budgeted $150. We did go over the grocery limit on vacation. Uh, which caused us to go over the grocery limit just a little bit all together. So we ended up spending 170 on groceries for household items um, We actually the first we actually Spent $35 on household items. I guess I didn't do a really good job this month or this week of taking inventory of what we needed in the house um, Because we ended up needing more than what I had originally planned. So we spent $35 there for the fuel and gas, we still stuck to the $140. Keep in mind, I work from home. I don't drive a lot at all. Like, I drive to work out three times a week, and that's it. <laughs> and my husband works down the street, like, four or five minutes from the house. For the vacation blow money, uh, we budgeted $155. Originally, it was $200, but I only put $155 inside the cash envelope, so I left it at $155. And the amount we actually spent was $146.50. So we did a good job of seeing underneath the budget on the blow money. As for personal, we budgeted $90 and we spent $90. We spent every single penny. Well, yeah. So the budgeted amount was $1,171.14. However, the actual amount that we were out of was $1,568.86. So that additional expense was the vacation deposit, $144. So we had to pay uh, a $100 deposit for our room and $44 for the rental car, which we have received those totals back. So if we were to add in the deposits, the amount that we would be negative is $397.72. However, once we received the deposits back, it has our new total at $253.72. So that's where we are with the budget for last week. We went over the budget, which was okay because we had, you know, the little cushion money in the account, but it's just not fun when you have to spend way, you know, more than what you budget for. But we had a really good time on vacation, so I'm not upset about it at all. So typically this would be when I get ready to stuff envelopes. However, we opened a new checking account um, since we moved here. Um, so we were listening, well I was listening to Dave Ramsey 
um, and he was talking about the banking fees. And so I, I checked our bank statement and I noticed that we, we had four accounts with the bank. We have three check-ins and one savings. And I noticed that the three checking accounts were being charged $12 a month. And when we, you know, I was under the impression as long as we had direct deposit or direct, you know, payroll coming, going into the account, that we would not be charged that monthly fee. However, we were. So I probably could have called my friend. She actually told me, you should have just called the bank. But I've had so many problems with this particular bank. And it's a, you know, a nationwide bank. And Personally, I was, you know, whatever. I let them go. They charged $12 a month. So we had three accounts. So that's $36. And then that's 12 months in a year. So did I do that right? No, I did not. So let's see. Uh-oh. Why do I keep pressing the off button? It was $12 a month. We had three accounts. And so 12 months in a year. So that's $432 at this point that we are saving by closing that account. So I'm okay with that. So, um, but like I said, we have not received any of the debit cards and we did not go to the bank this week to grab any cash out to fill the stuff envelopes. And besides that, behind spending, going over budget last week, we're gonna pay close attention to what we spend this week, like super close attention. So for this week, we have my student loan payment of 160. Um, my iPhone lease of $38. I mean, the September rent is due. We're gonna try to get it in this week and it's $830. For the personal amount, we're doing $100. We'll do 50 each. For household items, we're budgeting $30. And for groceries, we're going to budget 50 So hopefully we can stay under this $50 mark because we have a lot of vegetables in the refrigerator. So I would much rather eat all the vegetables and whatever's left over in meats before we go back to the grocery store and purchase anything else. So hopefully I can come back next week and say zero. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping for on this one because we, we have enough food, I think, to last until the 29th, which is... I mean, I don't know what day of the week it is, but I think we have enough money to last there. So the amount that we're budgeting for this week is $1,208. Um, I have not created any lists or anything on the back because I just haven't had a chance to really give those type of things. My list, you know, much thought this week. It's been such a busy week with work and having to work overtime and my brain has just been pushed to the limit this week, you guys. And boot camp was <laughs> went to work out at boot camp saturday and it was very very different for some reason this saturday we actually worked and whew, i'm tired so the only money that we have left inside of a cash envelope this week is the vacation fund and what i'm gonna do is just place it inside of our sinking fund so here's my cute little pouch that i have um and i got it from is it ipsy the little makeup place i used to have the subscription but i canceled it a while ago um but i kept all of my pouches because they were so cute so i'm just gonna go ahead and place the seven dollars in there and it is the first deposit in the pouch so that goes there and um that's it. I don't have any envelopes. I don't have any cash to stuff the envelopes with this week. But I hope you guys still enjoy watching the budget and seeing how we, uh, how everything panned out for us. If you are interested in watching the vacation budget review video, I will link it at the end. And uh, you can see how the vacation went. And if you haven't already, there's a few pictures and videos inside the video where you could take a look at St. Augustine. Um, that's where we went. If you enjoyed the video today, please give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Okay. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you do not miss out any on any new content. Because, I mean, just come and hang out with me. If you don't want to do anything else, just come by and say hi. Okay. All right. So, that's all I have for you. I hope you have a great week. And I will talk to you later. Toodles.